Yo, what is going on guys? JRed52 here, and today is the next game up in the NCAA Basketball 10 March Madness Tournament for the 2020 NCAA Tournament. The game we have up in store for today is number one seed Baylor versus 10, not 10, 16 seed Winthrop. The winner will move on to the next round to face number nine seed Rutgers. I think in real life if this tournament were happening, I think Baylor would end up winning. And I think the same thing is going to happen in this game as well. But you never know. We could see another 16 seed take out a number one seed. We've seen Siena take out Kansas. So anything is possible. If the number one team in the tournament can get taken out, surely Winthrop can take out Baylor. So let's get right into this game, folks. Winthrop's got some good size today. They were looking a little undersized, and that guy's name is Tweety. How about that? <laughs> Here we go, folks. Will we see the second 16 seed take out another number one seed? We'll find out soon enough. Baylor wins the tip off. Oh, what a drive, and it's a rejection. Oh, he tried to, he's trying to break his ankles. Oh, he should have taken that three-point shot. He had the shot. He had the shot. Oh, went from going with the fader. It's in a fading three-point shot. Wow. He knocked that down with ease. Going inside. It's rejected. Winthrop came to play today. Jump shot. Nope. Let's see if Baylor can wake up now after that three-point shot they made. At, if After Winthrop made that three-point shot, I mean. Let's see if Baylor can wake up. No, they can't. They turn the ball over. Winthrop has a chance to extend their lead. Oh, what a drive. It's rejected. Baylor on the fast break. No foul call. Number 33, Fader. It's good. And that's two fading shots that Winthrop has made back to back. And Baylor is going to the free throw line to get their first points of the game, hopefully. And Winthrop already making substitutions. First one is up. It's good, and Baylor puts up their first points. A lot of Baylor fans in that crowd. So you can definitely tell who has the advantage for uh, fans today. Second one is up. It's good. And Baylor breaking out full court press. And Winfrey breaks it. They're going up across court. Driving in. And it is not going to count. I think it's a foul on the floor. No, it's an offensive foul. I don't know what happened, folks. That is a weird, weird uh, situation. I don't know what happened exactly. Oh, it was about to be Lob City up in here. Winthrop just got destroyed. And they got destroyed again. 
but they hit the jump shot with a little bit of fader on that. They can hit those fading shots, it looks like. Baylor down by five, driving in, and he makes the contact shot. Should have been a foul there, but, I mean, two points is two points. He's literally touching his face. The refs are letting them play on. Three. Nope. A little bit of a heat check. Winfrey's coach is not too mad. They were driving in. And one. They finally come to life. They, they could tie this game up right here. They finally come to life. Tweety Carter, what a name, what a name. Free throw is up, it's good. And Baylor ties the game up. Winthrop's got to get across that line, they do. And they're going back to the free throw line as Corey Jess Jefferson has to foul. Charles Corbin going to the free throw line. Free throws up. It's good. Can Winfrup make this a two-point game? Yes, they can. All right, here we go. Let's see if Baylor can get some momentum going. I'm surprised 34 did not take the three-point shot there. Going inside. No, Winfrup gets the rebound. I mean, both teams have come into play today with the amount of blocks that they've had. Going inside, 42 shoots. And it, it is not going to go in, but he is going back to the free throw line as Corey Je Jefferson picks up his second foul, I do believe, of the game. So he's going to get taken out. And it looks like, I think that's Qu Quincy AC. I want to say, number four. I'm not so sure. But Charles Corbin going back to the free throw line. First one is up. It's good. Can Winfrup make this a four-point game? Yes, they can. Full court pressing. Got him trapped up. Oh, it's a backcourt violation. That is a mistake right there. Winthrop gets the ball back. Baylor just made a mistake. This is not a good sign, folks. The number one seed, Baylor, is not playing like they should. See if Winthrop can take advantage. Going inside, and Quincy AC with the rejection. Yes, that is NBA player Quincy AC, by the way, that played for the Baylor Bears. And Baylor sinks the jump shot as they are down by two. Went from driving in. Where's the foul? It doesn't matter. It goes in. Up by four again. Baylor's got to go quick. They want to get some, some, some sort of momentum. Quincy Acey with the pick. Going for a jump shot. And they miss it. And Winthrop has a 13-9 lead going into halftime, folks. Can we be seeing another 16 seed upsetting a number one seed in this tournament? We got one half to find out. Can Winfrup keep up this momentum? 
We'll see. Both are not shooting the greatest, honestly, but they're both of them are playing very good defensively. Winfrup doing a good job controlling that crowd. The crowd's not even becoming a factor in this game so far. And Winfrup does get the ball to start the second half, so this is going to be very interesting for Baylor. They got plenty of time, though. They just got to relax and play some defense. Oh, and they misconnect on the lob as uh, I think the guy that was supposed to get it just landed awkwardly on his ankles, I want to say. He looked like he took a tumble there. See if Baylor can uh, get some offense going. Lord knows they're going to need to. They're down by four. Three! Nope. That was kind of a bad shot by Baylor. Don't understand the point in that. Went from going down low. And they miss it. Own rebound. Winfrup misses. Own rebound. And Winfrup is up by six. Baylor needs to wake up quick. They are in a nightmare right now. Oh, and a steal by Winfrup. Winfrup misses. See if Baylor can get some momentum going on their side. And I... I could be mistaken, but I'm hearing some Eagles chants up uh, up in the stands. So I think the fans want to see the underdog win. They were shoots and they score. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure, sure I said I heard "Let's go Eagles." I could be wrong on that though. Going inside to the point guard, faking it, and it's a miss. And Baylor gets the rebound. On the right side. Three minutes left on the game clock. Three minutes left. What is Baylor going to do? Out on the way. Going inside. Jump, Jump shot. Center. His miss. Center grabs it. And does it go in? Oh, it's hanging on the it's hanging on the rim. It doesn't know what to do. And it falls! Oh no! Baylor fans, your hearts must be sinking right now. That ball hung on the rim for so long. Oh no! Going inside, Winfrey shoots, it's rejected. They get their own rebound! And it, in they are up by six. Oh, Baylor fans, I don't know how to feel for you right now. That ball hung on the rim for so long. Going inside. It's in. It's not over yet. But Baylor has got to figure out something quick. Because they don't have much time. Going in. Winfrey misses. Let's see if Baylor can take advantage of this. Can they get some buckets? Jump shot. It's a miss. Winfrey grabs the rebound. Three. Way too hard. All right, Baylor, you got to go quick. What are you going to do? Going inside. It's a missed jump shot. Winfrey gets the rebound. Fast break. Spin move. And it's a foul. And Tweedy Carter is not looking happy right now. Winfrey is going to go back to the free throw line. Can he make his free throws? First one's up. It's good. That gives Winfrey a five point lead on Baylor. Keep in mind, Baylor is a B-rated team in this game. Winfrey is like a C or C-minus or something like that. 
some uh, something like that. So Baylor should be should be dominating Winthrop right now. So this is very shocking. Going in, and it won't be an and one. Charles Corbin having a heck of a game. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that name. Let's see if he can hit his free throws. Give Baylor a chance to stay alive in this game. First one's up. It's good. We got one minute left, folks. One minute. Can Baylor find some way to come back in this game? Second free throw is good. All right, this is clutch time for Winthrop. What are they going to do? All right. How are they going to thrive in this environment? Are they going to crumble or are they going to thrive? Driving in. It's rejected. And Baylor has to take a timeout. This is getting interesting now. Can Baylor score some quick points and then try to get the ball back as quick as they can to get themselves into a good position to tie this game up? We'll find out. All right, coming coming out of the timeout, can Baylor get a quick bucket? I'm not going for the three-point shot. Corey Jefferson, he misses it. And Winthrop is in the driver's seat now. And Dunn getting into his face. I'm pretty sure there was some trash talk being said. Tyrone. I'm pretty sure that's um one of those extra players on the team. And I created a name named Tyrone. So I'm pretty sure that that's what it is. So I'll pick it up when we get to a one and one free throws. Here we go. Andre Jones is going to the free throw line. Can he hit these free throws? First one's up. It's good. Went for up. This is looking interesting now. Second one is up. It's good. Baylor is in some trouble. We could be seeing the second 16 seed moving on. No number one seed has moved on so far. And we still got Dayton, I think, Gonzaga left as number one seed. So this is going to be an interesting rest of the NCAA tournament if Baylor can't win. But we'll see what happens. Here we go. Baylor, if they do not make a three-point shot or a bucket, it is all going to be over. Here comes the three. Splash! Baylor not giving up just yet. But they have to foul to keep themselves alive in this game. And point guard Andre Jones going back to the free throw line. He has been 100% so far. Can he keep up the momentum? It's good. And Winthrop takes a four-point lead. It's not over yet, but if Baylor, if they can't hit another three, just like they did. Oh, he missed it! If they cannot hit another three-point shot, it is all going to be over. Because if they make it, they could be down by one. See what happens, though. Baylor still has a chance. And here we go, folks. Baylor out of the timeout. They got to go quick. They got to get a quick three-point shot and then foul quick. That's a two. It's rejected. 8.2 seconds left. They will get the ball back. And they're bringing in the bench players without even giving them a, without giving their starters a chance. Interesting move. They're taking way too long. They're just passing back and forth. What are they doing? And they cost themselves the game. Winthrop is the second number 16 seed to take out a number one seed. Unbelievable. Baylor, they made a crucial mistake. They should have kept their starters in. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy, folks. Never in my life have I ever seen two 16 seeds take out number one seeds. On all-American difficulty, for that matter. So, Baylor should have won this game. Oh my, as Winthrop will move on to face Rutgers. 
Rutgers and Ohio State are looking like the favorites to go on to the Sweet 16. Never thought I would say that. What a game. Big mistake by Baylor to do that. They should have kept their starters in and gave themselves a chance. But no, Winthrop moves on. Unbelievable. Guys, I literally have no words right now. Two 16 seeds just like that are moving on to the second round. But we go back to the West region. On a side of the bracket that we have not seen any upsets yet. But the next game that we have up in store is number 4 seed Oregon versus 13 seed New Mexico State. We could see an upset with the amount of upsets we have seen so far in this tournament. We could see another one in the making. This is March Madness, and the underdogs have came to play today. This is just insane. we got to wait till next episode to see if New Mexico State can become that the next team to pull out with an upset. So, till next time, guys, be sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the notifications bell so that way you stay up to date on when I post new videos. And also, don't forget to check out Super 724's channel as well. He just recently surpassed 5,000 subscribers. He's getting, he's on the way to 6,000, so be sure to subscribe to his channel. Check out his NCAA basketball simulation as well because he's also doing the same thing as I am. I got the inspiration from him, so he was the one that started all this. So be sure to check out his simulation. His channel link will be in the description below. So until next time, guys, have an awesome day, and I will see you all later.